Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi, guys, and welcome to one minute tennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about the ball toss, and I want to specifically talk to you about how to throw the ball up straight and correctly, and then where to throw it depending upon your serve. Because where you throw the ball is going to be very different to where the best players in the world throw the ball because of the way they leap and jump into the court. If you look at Ben Shelton, then he's like something like 20 centimeters off the ground when he hits the ball. So he's repositioned his body underneath the ball toss. And so if you just look at where the ball lands, it's going to be a totally different position to almost everybody watching this video, probably everybody. So first of all, how to send the ball up straight. And to send the ball up straight, if you're having a problem flicking and sending the ball to one side, first of all, have a look if the ball is spinning. And you see most of the people watching this video, your ball will be spinning rapidly when it leaves your hand. And, and in reality, what that means is that if you make a good ball toss, it's just lucky. Because with that amount of spin on the ball, it can pretty much go anywhere within sort of, I don't know, two fair square foot sort of area. So to remove the spin, I want you to hold the ball almost like an ice cream cone, holding it resting on the top of the hand, and then open the hand and allow the ball to go inside the hand there. Let me show you closer. So we hold it like this. So we hold it here and then open the hand and allow the ball to go inside the hand from the top and in. And you see, this will remove the flicking of the wrist. The problem you'll have with the spin is when the wrist flicks like this. But by holding it this way, then the wrist cannot flick and the problem will be totally eradicated. So now I go into position here for the serve and I place the ball correctly and the ball will go in the air with almost no rotation. It might roll very slightly, but the spin that takes the ball out of control will have disappeared. So now we've got the straight ball toss, we have some control, but where to throw the ball? Now we know we want it slightly out to the right for slice, sort of in front for uh, flat and slightly to the left for top spin. But what about the depth? What about how far in front? Because if you are a player who has an enormous jump, then the ball needs to be further in front than a player who stands statically or maybe has a platform stance and just hits the ball, which is almost everybody watching this video. And what you want to think of with this is that the ball needs to land inside the span of the forearm. So look, I throw the ball up, I have my correct grip, I throw the ball up, and the ball landed inside the span of my arm. If the ball is behind the arm, then it's ineffective and you're going to lose power. If the ball is ahead of the arm, then now you're going to be reaching for the ball and there's a great chance of driving the ball down into the net. Obviously, for the players who do make a huge jump into the court, it's exactly the same because your arm has moved with your body. So instead of using the ground as a reference, I want the ball to bounce there. It might be the right place for one player, but it's not the right place for another player who moves and penetrates the court within their service action. But if you think of your arm as the reference for where the ball should go, then you'll have the correct depth of ball toss every time and you'll get the maximum power and speed that you can out of your service action. So don't think about references on the court for where the ball should land. Think about the reference within your own body. And if the ball is landing between the elbow and the hand in your service action, then you've got the correct depth and you'll get the maximum speed and spin you possibly can out of your serve. I hope this makes sense. I'd love to know how it works in your game. And if you like my ideas on tennis, then check out what we're doing off court. I'm helping players in over 40 countries all over the world with video lessons such as this tailor-made for your game and video analysis, breaking down your technique to the finest detail. Or check out our books on Amazon. In the books, we talk about the science and biomechanics of the stroke and then offer super simple, really well illustrated solutions such as this. Thanks for watching. 
and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work. Yeah,